Hello, dear tech enthusiasts. My name is Janko. I'm part of the Z-Wave pre-sales technical team. I would like to show you a demo of a simple CA UIM to ServiceNow integration, and more specifically, creating alarms in CA UIM and transforming them to ServiceNow as incidents. Before the main demo, I would like to present you with a brief ZeeOps UI overview. So, the first thing that we'll see after we sign in the ZeeOps platform is the ZeeOps dashboard. Here, we'll be provided with additional information about our accounts, licenses, and integrations. For an example, the current number of active licenses, the date of their expiration, the current number of active integrations, the current number of connected systems, also the self-held status of both the platform and the systems that we have connected with. We're also being presented with additional statistics and matrix data that we could check for a certain time frame of our choice. So, the first thing that we would need to do is visit the connected system section right here in order for us to connect the systems that we would like to integrate with ZEOPS. After we click on add a new system, we'll be provided with all the systems that are currently available for integration with ZEOPS. After we click on one of our preferred systems, we'll be provided with a template with all the needed requirements for the system to be connected with CE. So, we will just need to cl simply click on save afterwards test our connection and once the connection is successful ZGOPS will collect some metadata from both systems which will include all the available entities variables and tables the integration users can see they'll be collected and will be used for the configuration later on afterwards the next step for us is to visit the configurator section in in the ui for us to choose the integration template which would meet our integration needs after clicking on add a new integration, we can choose one of our predefined te templates, which are based on the most common integration scenarios between the two selected systems. Also, have in mind that you would be able to import and create your own custom integration template. This way you would be able to define your integration requirements from the ground up, thus meeting your integration needs more precisely. For the purpose of our demo today, we have built the integration template for CIA UIM and ServiceNow from the ground up since we did not have it present within our portfolio. After selecting our template, we can go ahead and visit the main configurator page. It will include predefined actions, conditions and field mappings that can be used right away without any additional configuration. We would be able to also make changes for us to meet more of our integration needs more precisely. In overall, it includes our systems, the data type that we are going to sync and the correlation logic that we are going to use. So, here we'll see system 1 as the source system and system 2 as the destination system. After we click on save, the connection between the two systems will be established. So ZGOPS will be looking for new data in the UIM and we'll create data in ServiceNow. In the advanced configuration section, we can define what is the type of data that we would like to synchronize between the systems. In our current case, I chose to work with alarms in CA UIM and report them in ServiceNow as incidents. Also, have in mind that in the integrated entity section, you'll be provided with a list of all the available entities, variables, and tables in UIM and in ServiceNow, including any additional custom fields or tables. When it comes to configuring the correlation logic between these two systems, we have chosen to store the alarm ID from CAUIM in the dedicated correlation logic fields in ServiceNow. Once our main configuration is ready, we could proceed with the action levels. Just to mention that for each integration, we can have as many actions and operations as we need depending on our use case of course in this case we will need two the first one will work as a create incident action and the other one below will act as an update action for us to update the incident in service now i would like to start first with the trigger type the trigger type of our action in this case will be polling this way zeops will send query request to the source system in a time frame of our choice the platform also has the option to listen for any incoming requests. The recommended time interval is one minute. It's easily configurable and under the control of the user. Next thing for us is to review the trigger conditions. 
Uh, this is the defining logic of the query that ZOPS is going to run. In this section, we are also being presented with all the trigger conditions that the system would need to extract the newly created alarms in UIM and transfer them to ServiceNow as incidents. In this case, our default trigger condition looks for records that have been created after our latest record collection. Also, for the state of the alarm to be open and for the alarm to be with one of those mentioned levels in the condition. You will be also able to add additional conditions for the trigger to meet more of your integration needs, of course, by simply clicking on Add here. And you can use all the available properties in both systems to include in your condition. Next up for us is to review the mapping features of ZigiOps. The mapping section defines how the data will be collected from the trigger action and how it's going to be delivered to the destination system. This happens in form of a mapping table with access to the fields of both systems. On the left side we have our destination fields and on the right side we have our value definitions which could be objects, uh, hard-coded strings or a combination of both. For the purpose of our demo today we have already triggered a memory alarm on the UIM side and we already see how Ziggy has transformed and transferred the data as a brand new incident in ServiceNow. We can also see all the details of the specific memory alarm being implemented by Ziggy in the newly created incident as well. If the alarm in the UAM has been acknowledged either automatically or by a certain user, the incident in ServiceNow, which is related to this alarm, will be automatically resolved. So, it was a pleasure presenting you with the overview of Ziggy and how we can synchronize entities from CA UIM with ServiceNow. Feel free to subscribe to our channel if you would like to know more about the integration capabilities of the ZiggyOps integration platform and learn about any new integrations that we have added to our portfolio. We at Ziggy wish you all the best and stay safe.